Hello, and welcome to another episode of Raw Arse Readings with me, Marissa from Marissa Moments, where I give you channeled messages mainly from your ancestors, but they're also from angel, saint, spirit, universe, God, Gaia, however you want to refer to it. It's your truth. Live in it. And uh, we're going to be shooting from the hip here. So if you are sensitive and if you're not ready to take accountability for yourself, then this might not be the reading for you. But if you are and you're ready for change and you're ready for healing, then keep listening because Ancestors got something to say. And here it goes. So what I receive is, aren't you tired of existing within the struggle, right? I I always say like, you know, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. But what ancestors are saying is that that struggle, about 90% of it, and these are like little actual numbers that I was, I received, right? 90% of that struggle is made up in our minds, is made up in your mind specifically, right? You, the way that you view things, because you come from a place and space of darkness and negativity and all of that doom and gloom, that's how you put a spin on everything, right? Now, of course, we can, uh, what I receive is like, you feel like it would be fraudulent of you to put a positive spin on things that you feel are crappy, right? They're like straight up, point blank period, they're shitty, right? That's what I hear. And I did say we pull no punches here, right? Anyway, However, what spirit is saying is you're so sick and tired of being sick and tired, but you keep doing the same things over and over and over. Now, this has been a recurring theme in a lot of these readings because like yourself, I too often hit my head over and over and still refuse to duck, right? Because in my mind, maybe maybe it's going to move out of my way. It's that stubbornness is what I receive, right? That bullheadedness, right? You might be an Aries, right? And I typically don't throw out uh, astrological signs and things like that when I do these readings because I feel like it's just casting a net and trying to loop in other people. But anyway, this isn't about me. This is about you, right? But the reason I mentioned about being an Aries, because of course that's represented by a ram, it's bullheaded, those horns, locking horns with others, but it's not even about locking horns with others. What I receive is that you keep locking horns with yourself. You refuse to get out of your own way. You refuse to duck because of that pride, because of that ego, because of everything that basically says that same type of statement, right? But what ancestors are saying is like, you need to come from a different direction. You keep bumping your head over and over. And instead of actually adjusting yourself, you blame the wall. But (laughs) what I receive is like that wall's been there. The wall has been there. Well, or in, in this scenario, the... The wall is representative of the struggle, of the problem, and all of these things, right? That struggle, that problem has been there. It has existed before you, right? But you refuse to turn and go a different route. You refuse to actually take a step back and take a greater look at things in order to avoid hitting your head over and over on that same problem. So instead you keep walking into the same wall, into the same hurdles, into the same problems. And except the only thing that you decide to do is complain about it, right? You keep saying, oh, everything is terrible. Oh my gosh, there's nothing's going my way. Everything is just crap. Everything's a just a crap spiral or shit spiral and any other way that you can put it, right? But ancestors are saying, yo, chill, pump your brakes on that whole victim stance because that is so yesterday, right? You've already outgrown it, but (laughs) what I hear is you've outgrown it, but you're still trying to squeeze into the same clothes, now, that might be another another message in itself, but it's also re- very representative of what spirit and ancestors are trying to say. You, you have to move on. Stop trying to put yourself in those former situations because you're just going to get the same responses out of it. Switch things up. Change your viewpoint. Remind yourself every single day that you are not a victim of circumstance. Remind yourself that you do have some sort of say in whatever is happening around you. Now, of course, what I am reminded to tell you is that you can't control every single thing, right? Sometimes we're in situations that just straight up point blank period, they suck, right? Where maybe you are a victim of of that circumstance. However, are you taking the opportunity to learn from it or are you just sitting in that seat of defeat? 
Mm, I didn't know I had bars on this one, but hey, here we are. Anyway, get out of your own way. Take a step back. Actually pay attention to what is happening. And even more so, pay attention to the repeated patterns that you continue to bump your head on. Because that is God telling you, (laughs) get out of your own way. And that's it. Woo. Okay. So I've said a mouthful and you've gotten an earful. Hopefully you've gotten your message. Now, remember, we only take what resonates and leave everything else to the wayside. Everything's going to apply differently to everyone. So don't think this is a one size fits all type situation and circumstance. If it doesn't fit today, maybe it'll fit tomorrow. So just keep listening and keep applying all of the readings and all of the downloads as they suit you. And that's it. So until next time, peace and happy healing. Oh, and I keep forgetting to remind you, don't forget to look me up on all of social media. I'm literally everywhere. Just look me up, Google me, however you want to search it. But just remember, it is Marissa Moments all across the board. I want to keep it easy for you. But remember, that is Marissa Moments and Marissa with one S because there is only one me. So for real, for real this time, that's it for now. And happy healing. Uh